Are you having trouble with your Norcold four-door refrigerator? Stay tuned, we may have the fix for you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you definitely need to build some confidence if you own an RV, especially if you're not a fix-it person. Because to own an RV means that you'll become a fix-it person, whether you want to or not. Yeah, I'm coming to the realization that I'm not here just because of my pretty face. <laughs> Yeah, even though we have a brand new rig, there has been several issues. And today we're going to talk about the fridge. And it was a bit of a mystery. We went through several different things that we tried. But I want to assure you the fix is easy. We didn't get there immediately, but it is an easy fix once we figured it out. So just kind of sit back and we'll kind of go through the story and hopefully save you a service call. Yeah, I'm not sure who the we is in this conversation, but uh, <laughs> one of us figured it out. <laughs> he figured it out because he, once again, is the hero. And this is the theme. If you've watched our channel for a while, you know that Paul saves the day. Yeah, I'm not looking for any special credit. I just, uh, <laughs> just want to keep it real. Yes. <laughs> It's true. You really, you are a good problem solver. You do some really good research. So let's talk about the problem. We have a Norcold four-door fridge and we kept noticing water in it, particularly on the bottom shelf. There were things dripping. I would take out a thing of cottage cheese and there'd be water on the lid. I would take out stuff on the bottom and there was a whole bunch of water. So the first thing we checked was the condensation tray in the back. We wanted to make sure it was in all the way. If it's not connected, then the water from the condensation could just be dripping into the fridge. Yeah, if the tray gets pulled out, that hose gets disconnected. And if that condensation collection tray fills up, of course it comes over the top. It would only fill up if that hose um, or the drain out of the tray is clogged, so you want to check that. There's a shelf that bisects the hose, and really to check to see if that, that hose is properly connected, you will probably have to take that shelf off. It's real simple. It's one screw and you and it's out of your way. So, see this way you can you can get a, your whole hand on this tube. And make sure that it's stuck in there. Yeah, like, let's just take it off. Show the nipple. There's the nipple. And then And there's the hole. When that didn't really pan out to be the problem. <laughs> right, we still had water. We, we still had the problem. And, and I was seeing on the blogs that, the, some, that there was talk about the, the door flap not popping back into place. Um, and that is the root cause of this problem. Um, right, so we even noticed that water was starting to puddle outside of the fridge, in front of the fridge, in the center. And that definitely gave us cause for concern. We'd get up in the morning, right? And yeah. we'd find these puddles. Yeah, there would be puddles of water in front of the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the problem with these, uh, what is this, Norcold? The, these yes. Norcold double door refrigerators is this flap does not always, it should drop where it, there. It should do that. It doesn't always do that. And then and you end up with a leak on your seal. And then the water comes down. Yeah, and then you, you have a refrigerator that's running constantly and... and Everything and gets wet. Everything gets wet because water runs out. Yeah, it's a mess. So the first thing we decided to do was to try and make it close all the way, right? Yeah, yeah. And there's some talk about a decal, uh, made in USA decal that at the bottom of the uh, fridge that is in the way and interferes with that flap. In our case, that wasn't the case. If you have a fridge like this and you notice that the decal is in the way of the flap, then definitely take yeah, it off. Yeah, you might have to peel that off. So we decided to just try closing the fridge very mindfully to that it was that it would close all the way, but that wasn't solving the problem. No. And why wasn't it? So one of the things that we found is that when I took all the stuff out of the door, the flap worked 100% of the time. And when I loaded the door, I noticed that the flap was not flapping. So so the, the fix for this is to raise the door up just slightly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a washer underneath the bottom hinge. You can see about how thick it is. I went to the hardware store and bought some brass washers. I got two of them, one for each door, 55 cents a piece. What size? Uh, it's 516. 
All right, so you're going to take the stuff off the door. Before you take the door off, you got to take the stuff off. Yeah, you want to get the weight out of the door because you're going to be lifting the door off and you probably do it with everything on it, but why, why should you if you can easily lift these things out? Let's talk about the tools you're going to need to do this job. You're going to need a flat blade screwdriver and a 5 16 or 8 millimeter socket. Um, 5 16 and 8 millimeter are interchangeable as are 7 16 and 11, 9 16 and 9 16 and 9 16 and 14. I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> so anyway. We aren't going to talk about too much about tools, but you need a flat blade screwdriver to pop this trim piece off here. All right, let's show you doing it. There we go. So this trim piece comes off. There are three 5 16 or 8 millimeter screw heads in there. In my case, I have a, we have a screwdriver with interchangeable bits. And when you take the bits out, you have a 5 16 socket. So we got the bracket off, or at least unscrewed. And then you're going to lift it out of there. It's not as hard as it looks. I'm making it a lot harder. So nothing holds it on the bottom, you're just kind it of just, lifting it, it up. It just lifts right off. So the door is a little higher now. So it's critical to make sure that the weight of the door pulls it down this way. So you're going to take some of that off of the some of that weight off of the door. I'm right-handed, so I need my right hand to. Can you see the bracket moving in there? Yep. So you want to get it probably somewhere. You want to get it probably somewhere in the middle. You might need to try this a few times to make sure you got it right. You can hear that flap, that second, and then you can go ahead and tighten all your all your screws. And I give them a, a little snug with the, with the ratchet, but don't over tighten them. You don't want to strip these things out. And, so don't go grill on you on me here. So you see how easy that was? Once again, we may have saved you some money. <laughs> yeah, so leave a comment below if you've uh, had this problem and if this fixed your fridge. And, and we would just love to hear your troubleshooting stories because we think it's fun. It's sort of like a, a mystery as you go through and try different things. And if you like this video, you'll love the next one. We'll see you in the next video.